every system get quartered sooner or later. Arch Linux is not exception. In this video, you will learn how to clean your Arch Linux system. Hello everyone, it's Arch Linux user. Help you to install, configure and use Linux. I make video tutorials every Wednesday and Friday. Subscribe and hit the bell notification, so you won't miss any new video. Also, Arch Linux takes little of disk space right after the installation, as the time passes, it grows quite a lot. If you don't have any free space on your Arch Linux system, or you just want to clip your Arch Linux system clean, this video is for you. You will learn how to clean package cache, remove unused packages, clean cache in your home directory, remove old configuration files, find and if needed remove duplicated and empty files, as well as empty directories and broken symlinks. Find the files that take up the most disk space, and in the end I will show you some disk cleaning programs. Before we start, I would like to warn you that you may damage your system if you do a mistake during any of these steps. So please, back up all your files before doing anything to your system. I have a series of videos on how to do a backup in Linux from the command line or with graphical programs. Please watch those videos if you don't know how to do a backup in Linux. Let's start with cleaning the cached packages. Pacman, a package manager of Arch Linux, stores all downloaded packages in var cache pacman package directory, and it does not remove the old or uninstalled versions automatically. This is done deliberately. This allows to download a package without the need to retrieve the previous version through the Arch archive. You simply install a package from this directory, as in this example. Or if you uninstall a program, you can easily reinstall it without a new download. However, this package folder can grow indefinitely in size, so you need to clean it from time to time. There are two ways you can do that. You can clean it manually. For example, I usually move all these files to my old hard drive that I use only to store data. This way, I can always access these files, but they do not take valuable space on my system. When my storage drive gets full, I sort the packages by date and remove the oldest one. If you don't have extra space to store these packages, you can remove them without a backup. If you run pacman with option SC, you will remove cached packages that are not currently installed. Or you can remove all files from the cache by adding another C. And if you happen to need some of these packages, you can go to Arch Package Archive and download them manually. This is not an optimal solution if you need to download many packages. Downloading them manually will take quite some time. Another way to clean package directory is to use a script that deletes all cached versions of installed and uninstalled packages except for the most recent three. You can install this script with pacman contrib package. The script name is packcache. You can see all its options and its help. For example, you can run it in dry mode to see how many packages will be removed. And then you can run a real clean. You can also set packcache to run automatically once a month with systemd timer. Basically, you need to create the file packcache.timer in the folder atc systemd system with this content inside. Please see Arch Linux wiki page about timer for explanation of these options. Enable it and check its status. You should see the message that it is active. Now, pack cache will run every month and clean the cache of your old and uninstalled packages. Alternatively to this timer, you can also run pack cache every time after you run pacman. You need to create a hook for that. See Arch Linux wiki for details. 
To show it quickly, you create a file, packcache.hook, and paste there this text. Now, if you remove a package, package will also be executed. Remove unused packages. When you install and remove packages in Arch Linux, some unused orphan packages may remain on your system. To find them, you need to run pacman with these options. It will list all the orphans. To remove them, you need to modify this command with the remove action. Now, when you clean your PKG folder and remove all orphan packages, your Arch Linux system is clean. But there still may be some garbage in your home directory. The first thing you probably would want to do is to clean cache in your user directory. You can check the size of your cache folder with this command. To clean it, you need to remove all files inside it. And that's it. You can also remove old configuration files. The configuration files of different programs are stored in .config folder in your home directory. You can enter it from your file manager and check if there are any config files left from the programs you uninstalled. Some old files may also be lying in .local share folder. Check it too and delete some files and folders if necessary. And I would like to remind you here, you better have a backup of all your files before you remove anything. You can also find and if needed, remove duplicate and empty files as well as empty directories and broken symlinks. To find such files, you can use the program remove lint. Install it. If you check all its options, you will see there are pretty many. You are free to explore them. To keep things simple, you can run it by specifying the directory you want to check for lint. This program will list everything it finds and create a special script to remove this lint. You can open it and check what files it will remove. This is what it wants to remove from my system. You can remove some of these files manually, or if you agree with the suggested remove action, you can go back to the terminal and execute this script. You will be offered some options here. For example, you can make a dry run with option N to see what will be done. Then you can rerun it again and execute a real removal. But make sure you have a backup of all files before you run this script. Its action will be irreversible. Find the files that take up the most disk space. You can use a command line tool, such as ncdu. Install it. Search for the largest directories. And then go inside those directories and find the largest files and remove them if you don't need them. If you prefer a graphical program, you can use FileLite for Plasma 5. It shows a graphical summary for all hard drives, and you can go inside and check the directories. Then go inside the largest directory, and so on, until you find what you want to remove. This way you can find what takes the most of the space. An alternative graphical program for GNOME would be Baobab. There are some other tools listed in ArchWiki. Pick whatever you like. Disk cleaning programs. There are also some disk cleaning programs. You have already seen RMLint before. Among these programs, BleachBit is probably the most popular. You are of course free to use it. It has a nice graphical interface, and you can do a lot of what I have just shown you with just single program. For example, you can clean your system cache right from here. You select it and click clean. It is a nice program, and I am pretty sure many of you will like it. Nevertheless, since you use Arch Linux, I recommend against this program. 
it hides from you what exactly will be done and you don't have full control of your system. Besides, you can very easily delete some configuration files you didn't want to delete. <laughs> Believe me, I have done such mistakes. But of course, it is up to you what to use. I just provide you options and my recommendations. <laughs> yeah, I almost forgot the most simple thing. You can also clean your trash bin. As far as I know, this is the most complete set of tools and procedures to clean your Arch Linux system. But I can't know everything. So if you have something to add, please comment below. I am happy to pin to the top the most useful comment so the other viewers will see it first and learn from you. Also, if you find this video useful, please share it with your friends in social media. Your friends may also find it useful. Thank you for watching!